because he wins with all the lines that he's going to talk about right now. Chad Millman from the Action Network. He's on the Boardwalk Honda hotline. If you got a pair of $100 jeans, you'd keep them because you're constantly picking winners, Chad Millman. I uh, go all in on very expensive clothes. I'm a very stylish guy. Even if I wasn't winning, I'd go all in on expensive clothes. I would go poor just to dress nice. Yes, and especially now. You know, I've been buying so much stuff since March, I cannot tell you. Every day I'm like, what am I going to wear when I walk upstairs? <laughs> All right, let's look. we got four games left. It's sad, but they're four goodies. Uh, Saturday, right here on 97.3 ESPN, Packers, Rams, started at seven, six and a half. Has it moved much? I like this Rams defense. Might be interested in the total there, but I see six and a half. Has it moved all that much? What say you? It hasn't moved much at all, and I'll be honest. Like It's the one game I have very little opinion on. If I, if I like anything, you just mentioned it. Um, I do like the, the total a little bit. Which has dropped considerably. Go, yeah. It went from 47 to 45 and a half. Yeah, and I'd probably go, I'd probably go with the under still. Um, I think there's just, like, A, I don't know what Jared Goff can do with a broken thumb in 20-degree weather, number one. He wasn't, like, great uh, this past weekend. Number two... That Rams defense, especially the secondary, is historically good. Just historically good, especially against a long ball. So Aaron Rodgers is pretty great at that. He's also pretty great at every other part of the game. But they are really good at the long ball, and that takes away a major weapon from them uh, to sort of move the ball down the field for chunk plays. I assume Aaron Donald is going to play. He'll be, he'll, you know, he'll be effective. And don't forget, like, the Packers don't have David Bakhtiari, and I think that is a really big deal for them. And so I don't like sort of the side in this game, and I am leaning. <laughs> excuse me, I am leaning towards the under. The Bills are at home against the Ravens. Opened up at three. You're pretty much seeing two and a half across the board, except for one place bet MGM. Look, the Ravens coming off of an emotional win. Lamar Jackson getting his first playoff win. How do you see this one shaping out? I like the Ravens in this game. I like them at plus three. Uh, it's interesting, you know, I'm looking at actionnetwork.com right now, and I see 54% of the bets coming in on the Bills, but 52% of the money coming in on the Ravens. That tells you the professionals like the Ravens here. Um, I, I, my feeling on the Bills is they're just overvalued, and there's too much sort of air in that balloon. And if you look at this past weekend, there's three or four – plays from being overturned and probably losing that game. And like the Ravens, there was no flukiness to their win. They absolutely dominated, 100% dominated uh, the Tennessee Titans. So I'm going to be on the Ravens. Chad Millman, the Action Network. It's a great place to go to get all odds, NFL, NBA, college basketball, everything in one spot, and you can check out what every app has for you. So the DraftKings, MGM, FanDuel, PointsBet, uh, and others, they lay every odd on every app. So you can go to your app, whatever the best line is. And on Sunday, the best line right now, it's everywhere, 10. There is no best line. It's 10 on the Chiefs. Open at 9.5. It's up to 10. The over-under, though, has moved 55. It started. It's up to 57.5 at some spots, but – I don't know, double-digit playoff favorite in the divisional round. Look, I will tell you, it is not a pretty sight to bet on double-digit favorites in the divisional round. I think since 2003, the underdogs are 39-27-1. That said, fellas, and I'll, I'll tell you, I'm on the opposite side of professionals here. You tend to like the Browns. Give me the Chiefs. Um, I think they match up well. Like, forget about the Browns and their running game against a really bad Chiefs rushing defense. I I cannot go against the best quarterback in the world with a coach who is so dominant off of a bye and having had two weeks to get healthy against a team that everybody is piling in on because of what happened on Sunday night. Like, I am I am fading public perception, and I am going with the healthier, more talented team with a more experienced coach who has proven he does it off of a bye. Yeah, that Chiefs uh, 10. Now, they have not been a big blowout team, as we've chronicled a lot uh, during our conversations this year. Like they ha- It's like, is now the time they step on the gas and just blow somebody out? I don't know that it's possible to do that, like just to decide, okay, now we're going to try. Um, 
but I do like the Chiefs at minus 10 here because more because of the reasons I just mentioned. Yeah. Like, I think they come out with a strong game plan. I think it's hard to sort of to, to bet on a team that just played so well in such a public perception moment. Um, so I'm going to back the Chiefs. All right. So all the books agree on Bucks Saints, according to Action Network. All the books have plus three, Tampa Bay getting three, opened at three and a half. It's only dropped a half a point, but it's three. Every book that we can find started at 50 and a half. It's 52 some places, 51 and a half others. So this thing has not moved all that much, but some would say, why? The Saints won both games. The last time they won, what, 38-3. So why is this game just a field goal with the Saints at home? Uh, I think it's got a lot to do with how good the Bucks defense has been. It's got a lot to do with how much better Tom Brady has been over the past, say, six, seven, eight weeks of the year throwing the ball downfield. And it's got a lot to do with Drew Brees and his inability to throw the ball downfield and the ways the Bucks defense has sort of uh, wrapped up Alvin Kamara literally and figuratively when they've played, even though the Bucks have lost those games. Um, so that's why the money has come in on the Bucks. And it's staying right where it is because that three is such a key number. It's going to take a load, a load of money to get that number off of the three. All right, Chad Millman, Action Network, your favorite play of the weekend. Sounds like Ravens, but I'll let you talk about it. Yeah, you nailed it. Like, uh, I knew you were going to ask me that, and I'm thinking, and I'm thinking Ravens. I like, uh, I like the matchup here. I think the Bills are the right side. I think they'll win, but I do like the Ravens at plus three. I think, um, you know, it's, it's too much public perception in the direction of the Bills. All right, there you go. Uh, that game and all the games are right here on 97.3 ESPN. If you're going to bet them, find the best odds with the Action Network. Go to actionnetwork.com. Chad Millman uh, is, of course, the uh, guest right here on the Boardwalk Honda Hotline, as he is each Friday to get you ready for the weekend. Four games. Go play them. Have some fun. Bet responsibly. Chad, enjoy the games. Thanks, so. fellas. See ya. All right. He'll be back next week with the championship round. We're at the championship round next weekend. Oh, my gosh. 